KMTV 3 News Now, live at midday. We start with a breaking news update this midday. The Florence Community Washed is a popular restaurant went up in flames. It happened just after 7 this morning at the mouth of the south, and now we're hearing that the fire is affecting the community. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling is live near 30th and Willett. Nick, what's going on? Good afternoon, Matt. Yeah, the last fire truck just left and building inspectors are out here on scene. I'll kind of get out of the way so I can show you the aftermath of that fire as people have been coming around this area, taking pictures of the area. Obviously, it's still taped off. Now, the fire call came in around 7 o'clock this morning. Fire Chief Dan Olson says when crews arrived, they saw a big fire. Flames were coming out of the rear roof of the building and it started there. The fire was between the roof and ceiling, which made it tricky for crews to battle the flames. He says many renovated buildings in this area have these kind of layered ceilings, so they had to pull back and went defensive mode in case any collapse from the walls. Olson also says the fire didn't spread to the other buildings thanks to the firewalls. It took about an hour and a half for crews to put out the fire. We spoke with many business owners in the area who say this business was a staple to revitalizing this Florence neighborhood. It's one of the, you know, like first newer restaurants here in, t in, in the neighborhood. Um, when people call me and ask me for directions, I actually ask, do you know where Mouth of the South is? And 99% of them say, yeah, well, I was like, well, I'm right across the street. So, you know, there you have it, you know, kind of like Zesto's being a staple, Mouth of the South, you know, earned a, a great reputation and, you know, hopefully they can come back and rebuild from this. Employees of Mouth of the South were watching outside, understandably saddened. The good news is we're told no one was injured and they are still investigating the cause of this fire this morning. Point Live, Nick Starling, 3 News Now. Nick, 